once upon a time, there was a Brahmin in a village. He lived there with his wife and two kids. The Brahmin lived his life in a very different way. Every morning, he would wake up, have a bath near the well, come back home, have his food, and go back to sleep. The Brahmin had everything in life. He had a big farm. Here, he grew various kinds of fruits and vegetables. But he had a very bad habit. The Brahmin was a very lazy man. His family was always worried because he never did any work and kept sleeping all day long. Are you going to sleep again? Come on, wake up. Don't you have to go to the farm today? All our crops will be wasted. But all the efforts to wake him up were useless. The Brahmin opened his one eye, smiled and went back to sleep. There is no use in trying to wake him up. I will go to the farm myself and see whether everything is fine. Yay! <laughs> Shortly after, the kids began to make noise in the house, which woke the Brahmin, and he started to play with them. On the other hand, as the Brahmin's wife was returning from the farm, she met a sage. She then invited the sage to come home for food. Oh, sage! I have not had the honor to meet you in a long time. You must come home with me. Please give me the opportunity to serve you. You are very generous, my child. My God keep his blessings on you. Let's go. As the Brahmin's wife walked back home with the sage, she saw... Thank God, he's awake. Look who has come to our house. As soon as the Brahmin saw the sage, he immediately went outside to welcome him in. The husband and wife then served the sage very well. They gave him food to eat. After the meal, the Brahmin sat down and began to massage sage's feet. The sage was very pleased with their service and spirit. He then asked the Brahmin to make a wish. Tell me, child, what do you want? I will grant any wish you have. Sage, I only have one wish. That I never have to do any work ever again. I wish for someone who would magically do all my work. All right, I will grant your wish. But remember, you will have to keep him busy all the time. He must never sit idle. As you say, Sage, I will remember this. After agreeing to grant his wish, Sage blessed the Brahmin and went away. As soon as he left, a big monster appeared. <laughs> Master, your wish is my command. Tell me, what can I do for you? <laughs> All right, do one thing. Go and water my farm. The monster vanished immediately. Brahmin was now very relieved. He now didn't have to do any work. After some time, the monster appeared again. <laughs> Master, the work you asked me to do is done. What else do I do? What? You watered the entire farm in such a short time? What other work do I give you now? You have to give me work, master! Or else I will eat you! The Brahmin was now scared. He immediately gave another work to the monster. Go fast and plow the entire field! Yes, master! I will do the work and come back soon! As he left, the Brahmin calmed down and thought, It takes a lot of time to plow an entire field. Till then, I will go and have some food. After that, the Brahmin sat down with his wife and kids to have food. But just then, the monster appeared. You are back again? 
Did you plow the entire field? Yes, master. What else do I do? Give me more work. Work, work, work. What work do I keep giving you? Come now. Come here and play with my head. As soon as the Brahmin said these words, the monster started to play with the Brahmin's head. Oh, is he gone mad? Somebody stop him. He will break my head otherwise. What do I do now? What work do I give him? How do I get rid of him? If you want to get rid of him, I can help you. But you will have to promise me something first. Uh, yes, tell me fast. My head will explode now. From now on, you will do all your work by yourself. Oh, okay, agree. Now please, help in getting rid of him. Listen, do one thing. Stop playing with his head. Our dog Morty, his tail is crooked. Go straighten it. Your wish is my command. I will do it right away. Amused to see her husband's situation, the wife started laughing. <laughs> I always warned you. I knew one day you will have to pay for being so lazy. But now you see. All right. I got what I deserved. But he will straighten Modi's tail and be back soon. What can I do then? What are you talking about? Is anyone ever able to straighten a dog's tail? Believe me, he will spend all his time trying to do it. But the work will never get done. <laughs> <laughs> you saved me today. From now on, I will do all my work by myself. I will never rely on anybody. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all laughing, kids? Oh, nothing. We were all laughing at the lazy Brahmin. Yes. So now you know. What is the result of not doing your work by yourself? Now tell me, do you all agree to complete your homework by yourselves? Or you will also wish for someone else to magically complete it for you? Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>